God be with these balloons because sure as hell, this must be the devil over 2 million pops. I think I just discovered a perfect storm and it all revolves around you. Oh, father and son popping balloons together. <laughs> There's really two major reasons I wanted to pick this map. One, the layout is very repetitive. Balloons end up in the same area a lot. And two, Darling Gunner. <laughs> They're forced to go down his path. And I learned that you can actually lock him in place so I don't even have to do anything. He's just constantly shooting down there now. I've also unlocked something called Banana Farms. Everything starts out like extremely slow in the earlier rounds, but whenever we get up to the higher rounds, these things generate cash like nobody's business. Pretty soon I'll have a cash generating empire and all I have to do is just, well, wait. Because the balloons have to loop around so many times, I'm actually not worried about them getting this far. Okay, well that one balloon's just gonna make a run for it. <laughs> However, it's time to prepare for that. Ninja monkeys have automatic camo detect. I also found that they have, after distraction, counter espionage. All attacks strip camo from balloons they hit. Pretty soon, camo's just not gonna be a thing I ever have to worry about. Wait, I never placed a glue gunner. I'm so stupid. I need to do this fast. There we go. Now he's a super strong glue gunner. <laughs> Balloon Dissolver melts two layers per second, so they're already constantly popping before they even enter this just hallway of pain. Well, I beat this, but my end goal is far away. I wanna actually have enough money that I can get the next upgrade. Banana Farms have this nice little marketplace that I don't even have to collect bananas anymore. It just gives me the money automatically. I think I should add another Darling Gunner right here. What's better than one Darlin Gunner with Hydra Rocket Pods? Then two. Oh, life has never been this good. Oh, Moab. Okay, everyone work, work together. Work together here. Come on, Darlin Gunner. It didn't even get halfway. This is so overpowered. All it takes is a couple of Ninja Monkeys and Darlin Gunners and I control the entire board. The description of Rocket Storm says it sends a powerful storm of rockets in all directions. So let's see what it actually does. Oh my god, it like, <laughs> it just shoots out purple rockets everywhere in front of it. Now to throw down some wizard monkeys. The path that I want is on the bottom. After reading some comments, people said the necromancer's really good because it kind of sends balloons in this backwards direction. Can I make all- What just happened to my money? Did you see that? <laughs> oh, oh, it's the red moab. Uh, okay. Hydro rocket, hydro rocket. Wow, that thing's like really still lasting. Well, no, it, it's not lasting that well, actually. Is it even gonna be able to get to the center? Oh yeah, it made it to the, oh no, I, I spoke too soon. That was erased. <laughs> it only takes 20,000 for this Prince of Darkness upgrade. Wait, and enhances all other necromancers. Should I make a necromancer army? How much does a necromancer upgrade even cost? Wow, only 2,000? I thought it'd be way more expensive than that, but no, I already have two more necromancers on the field. I'm suddenly beginning to think I can make it past round 100. Wait, do I have enough? It's time. The tier five necromancer <laughs> monkey. What does that do? He spawns Moabs now? I have undead Moabs. Oh, nothing's gonna be able to get past me. Whatever comes at round 100 isn't even gonna make it like halfway through. The thing I'm still constantly worried about is DDT balloons. However, those aren't gonna come till round 90. So I should be able to do nothing but just sit here and farm banana cash. And I mean, let's face it, these gigantic undead Moabs are probably gonna be enough to stop them. To put it into perspective, every time these markets do the little money cash, I gain $400. The only thing that would make this better is if I had a hero that gave me money too. But now I can have a tier five ninja monkey on the field. Oh my God. Nothing's gonna get past anymore. It's over. I've, I've secured my win. Can I make any other tier fives? I feel like I have tier five dart monkeys still. Is it ZOMG round already? How fast is that thing gonna get here? I, I'm, if I don't touch anything, I'm curious on how fast it dies. Cause here comes a wave of undead balloons and my tier five ninja monkeys already going off on it. Wait, is that about to pop already? I'm curious on how much damage Moabs do whenever they went, oh, well, there goes the regular balloons. <laughs> the ZOMG burst and then everything else just went immediately after. So let's start with you, tier five crossbow master. <laughs> He almost went up a thousand pops just the moment something casually entered. Is this guy actually insanely strong? Let's put Tiny Dart Monkey here. And then we can start upgrading him to be the Ultra Juggernaut. 12,000? I will never have that money until now. <laughs> and he's yet to throw that giant ball once. Hi, ZOMG. Please be kind. Oh, that's right. There's two ZOMGs on this round. Oh, well, there goes one and there goes the other. Okay. At the rate this is going, I don't even think I'll just ever need super monkeys. However, I realize there is one thing that I did unlock because I've used some of my monkey knowledge and I happened to discover that I could have another crossbow master 
five tier five. You see his darts. His pops are just going up that fast now. Oh my gosh. I'm the strongest thing in the world right now. Oh yeah, I forgot I unlocked the central market. How much? $70 per bump? That's insanely good. It costs 12,000 per upgrade though, so I'm probably not gonna be able to do that to too many of them, but if I can get that on at least a few. Were those DDTs? Did I miss that? Oh my gosh, I'm, I really am just the strongest thing in the world. DDTs, they just die instantly. Moabs die instantly. Everything that thinks it wants to actually play the game, instantly dead. Oh, the sheer chaos. All it takes is a couple banana farms and well, you win it's gonna be around 99 maybe i should actually get some super monkeys going i forget how expensive these guys are uh i can only buy two i think two is gonna be enough for this round right i think this round would have been fine even without my super monkeys actually <laughs> round 100 i have pure chaos in the center i have four super monkeys on my field if there was ever a time to win it would be now what is that that thing is huge and it doesn't even have a crack in it yet oh no oh no oh no oh no am i actually gonna be able to take this thing down it doesn't even have one crack in it yet uh phoenix come on out okay we're getting it's, it's actually tearing away use the hydro rockets i wanted to wait till it was a little closer that way the rockets wouldn't actually go out too far Oh my gosh, this thing is actually making it quite the distance. Go, super monkeys, actually do something properly for once. It's okay, I think it's about to break. Yes! Oh, there were DDTs inside of it? Oh my gosh, how many ZOMGs is that? Five? Oh, everything's breaking. Everything's breaking. Am I, can I do it? Is it? Yes! Oh, I beat level 100. <laughs> yes, round 100 with five tier five monkeys. Is there more? There's more rounds? It doesn't stop at 100? How many rounds can I survive with this, I wonder? I did learn that there's a super monkey upgrade that cost 15,000. And just like that, I have it. Oh my God, he's actually racking up things. He like shoots yellow plasma lasers. Maybe I should get a couple more of this guy. The Dark Knight's cool and all, but Sun Deity sounds even cooler. I'm also getting about 20,000 per round just off, well, markets, a lot of markets. Wait, don't I have a tier 5 spike tower I can do? <laughs> I do! Another tier 5! And now just if anything enters his little zone, it catches fire. Is there a point where you just become too strong? I forgot one of the most important monkeys in BTD6. Sniper, sniper monkey. monkey. If I put down 5 sniper monkeys, and also give them radar scanner so they have auto just camo detection, then that means I can make a firing squad of full auto large caliber sniper monkeys. Oh, today's going to be a good day. <laughs> Let's see. How much money do I generate from one round? This is round 108, and I started at about 3,000 gold. And it looks like I'm going to finish at 36,000 gold. And for the fun of it, I'm fairly certain I have a tier 5 sniper monkey I can make. But really, I mean, 11,000, that's a high, and I got it 19 seconds after I mentioned it. All right, things are easy. I feel like I need more sun deity super monkeys. Wait, that's another, that's another big, bad, bad, balloon, bad, balloon, bad, big. Oh no, and now it's coming with other balloons too. Okay, Phoenix, go, just to take care of everything. Both of my Hydra rockets go out as well. Oh man, this might be the end. Round 110 means business. Oh wait, no, I, I popped it. Hang on, I, I might be okay after all. Huh, I guess round 10 really wasn't anything special either. So I want to place two sub monkeys down, and one of them is instantly tier 5. Perfect. Don't worry, little guy. You'll be tier five soon enough. Huh, maybe I'm... Oh, look at all the missiles that are just falling down. Oh, this tier five balloon is incredibly worth it. And now I can have this tier five monkey sub. I've lost track of how many tier five monkeys I have in my possession currently. All I know is that it's a lot. Can I get to round 150 like this? God be with these balloons because sure as hell this must be the devil over two million pops. This is the farthest they've gotten. Round 134, they, they finally mean business. They lost okay wait how far back am i being pushed there's still a big bad making it all the way over there oh my this might be it i might die at this round round 136 and a big bad has made it all the way to the like right side of the map oh no i think i've I finally met my limit all these no nope, never mind okay we won per normal yeah i don't even know what i was thinking that was a momentary lapse of weakness erase it from your mind well in all the confusion i passed 600,000, which just made me realize something there's still a sun temple upgrade I haven't used quite yet. So all nearby towers will be destroyed? Is that a good or bad thing? Uh, this guy better be the strongest thing in existence. Let's make another one. And I might as well make one more. I'm missing so many things now. Three sun temples, is that gonna be enough to beat? Oh my God, how fast is that going up? 
Look at how fast it's popping balloons. Oh my god. Is this the most overpowered BTD6 tower? I think I have enough where I could just put all the monkeys back that I lost. I just want to see one round of me having full power in three monkey sun temples. I see balloons don't even enter the screen anymore and I'm on round 139. Oh no, there we are. They're, they're making a little bit of the ways in. That's nice. I've become something that shouldn't exist in this world, haven't I? What's scary is there's this is this is tier four towers. There's still one more that I don't even have the ability to unlock yet. There already is already has over a million pops. I I quit. This is what it looks like, by the way. When the round continues, it, it's just this. A cross beam, dead center. This is round 150. And this thing has over 10 million pops on it. I am convinced that I can never die. Round 155 is up next. I have half a million in the bank. I think it's only right that I do this one thing. Go go get him, little guy. You got to take him down one single... Oh, no, he's been in cover. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I popped over 60 million balloons. I had over 2 million in cash. <laughs> oh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this.